Hi, this is Bill. Today I want to show you how to go about uploading a document and making sure that you can change the settings so that you cha transform that Word document that you're uploading into a Google Doc. So the first thing you need to do once you're in Google Docs, you're going to click on this little gear icon, which is the settings icon, and come down here to upload settings. Now under upload settings, you have three different options. The first one, the top one, is convert uploaded files to Google Docs format. If you click on that, that will convert everything that you upload, whether that's a Word file, whether that's PowerPoint, or whether that is a uh, Keynote, anything like that. It will change that, convert that to the appropriate Google Doc. The second one, convert text from uploaded PDF and image files. Basically what that does is that does OCR on which OCR is optical character recognition and that does OCR on those documents so a PDF you can actually copy and paste from a PDF and work with that text and then finally the last one here confirm settings before each upload basically that's gonna bring this up every time you upload a document I have that checked because sometimes I want to convert to a Google Doc and sometimes I don't want to convert to a Google Doc it just depends on uh, the moment so let me I'm just gonna be sure that's checked and go in and upload a file. So I'm just going to choose a file that's on my desktop. It's a Word file. I'm going to click open and it's going to bring up this document. Now because I want other people to be able to edit or comment on my document, on this Word document, I'm going to be sure to check that box and then click start upload. It's going to go ahead and upload it I can tell that it's a Word file because it has this W right here in the upload settings. It says over here that it's converted. And then when I look at my documents list, you can see right here that that is a Google Docs file. It doesn't have that W anymore. If I had unchecked that box or left it unchecked, it would have kept it in its Word file. It would allow other people to download it but I wouldn't be able to then go in and comment and change it directly in Google Docs. So this is what you're looking for if you want to translate that Word document into the appropriate Google Docs file. I hope that helps.